you'd be in cloud right now. So I would remain with flaps 50%. Yeah. If I broke out and I was 500 feet AGL yeah. or lower, I would just land with flaps 50%. Okay. This approach breaks you out, should be at 1,000 feet AGL. So if you go visual at like 900 feet, feel free to go and put 100% flaps in. That's fine. But I wouldn't do 100% flaps on an approach. Like No, no, I, and I wasn't suggesting that. I, yeah. I was suggesting the power reduction so that you're within flap range. Oh, yeah. That's all I was yeah, saying. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. But that would be done when you're visual. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so you wouldn't reduce power until you're visual? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, power stays the same. Power inputs are steady. We're not destabilizing the approach. We go visual. We can leave the autopilot engaged, drop the flaps to 100%, let it trim itself out, and then disconnect if you want. But uh, we'll, again, an approach like this, if we were really using it to circle around Kelowna, come up the Okanagan yeah. and fly to Vernon, yeah. I would just do this approach clean. Yeah, exactly. Although you don't know because you might have to land in Kelowna. Correct. So, yeah. so I, you know, shooting the approach 50% flaps isn't bad. Again, if you pump the power up to 50%, you can fly flaps 50 it's just not advised. And while I'm watching flaps, and I know it's good till 50, 150, but that's why I was reducing power, because... Yeah, and 30%, your call out for 30% yeah. looked good. And X-ray, X-ray, Juliet's tapping in, but we're going to overfly the airport, and then we'll make the right turn at 1,000 feet, and we'll uh, overfly the town of Kelowna and head to, over to the Okanagan back to Vernon. X-ray, X-ray, Juliet, uh, tower, check your request. I do have IFR to depart off our runway 34, so uh, just continue the approach for now, and I'm going to have to get them going pretty quickly, though. Okay, let me know for X-ray, X-ray, Juliet. November Delta Golf Tower, clear the zone to the northeast. Surveillance service, turn and change on route frequency. Good flight. So when we're... You'll tell me when you want to go, Thank you. but that's when we will hit uh, altitude, or just go ahead with power. I, I would disconnect. Okay. Yeah, power I would say we're visual, disconnect, we're going to visually we, uh, maneuver. Here. Okay. If you want, you can no, sir, fly the autopilot, tower, but I would just three, disconnect. Four at Charlie and wait. So we're going to disconnect, four at Charlie and go around, climb, flaps up over 90. He might pull us off early. But you get the idea, you're coming in on the approach, you would break out of clouds. Actually, Juliet's are going to be unable to the uh, low approach. I got an IFR uh, medevac just about to taxi out and one in position ready to go. So I'd like you to break it off uh, to the east and now. And did you want to orbit the city first or head uh, right up back to the lake? Um, stand by, but uh, we'll break off the approach now for extra extra shoot. Break off? Yep. And do you mind if we go to the west for extra extra X-ray, X-ray, Juliet, my apologies, that that should have been to the west, so right turn out uh, westbound, and uh, do you want to go to the city now, or just north? Uh, yeah, we can head in the direction of the city for X-ray, X-ray, Juliet. X-ray, X-ray, Juliet, check, you're breaking it off to the west now, IFR, uh, that just will be on the roll off to the floor momentarily. Check marks. Yeah, so let's level off here at 3,200, uh, and we'll just kind of follow the terrain, off the and you the would west. be following. Wind okay. 3307, so we're going to go there and then around. Yeah, yeah. so we would follow over the airport, you would go so over the town, and it would be at uh, essentially 1,000 feet above the ground, at our minimums of 2,280. But yeah, maintain 3,200. Traffic, 10 o'clock, altitude not available, less than one mile. Uh, there's a guy taking off. Yeah, that's that Duchess. We're to the west of the approach, should be fine now. Yeah. yeah, so you can see you would overfly the airport, right? You would come around, you would follow the highway, you can see the highway there. Yeah. And you would literally follow the highway to the bridge, and then from the bridge you would follow the water back into Vernon, which is what we'll do now. And we get a nice tour, too. Yeah.
Isn't that an interesting topography there? Yeah, living on the, r the mountain here. That crescent. That looks like a pretty auspicious crescent, eh? Boy, that's, that's just beautiful. And I think from here, once you round this, then you go to this the bridge. little hill or mountain here, you would just be able to see the bridge. And you'd be able to see the water and you just point yourself at the water. And how low would you be willing to go? Almost to, yeah, to minimums here. A, th a thousand feet above a built up area. Yeah. Which is the minimums, essentially. Yeah, I wouldn't be doing this maneuver when it was forecasted to be overcast at uh, a thousand feet. You know, that'd be a little bit too low to be flying over a populated area. But, you know, 1,500, 1,800, 1,900, 2,000 overcast. But that's essentially the trick is using the Kelowna approach, 1-6, breaking it off, and then circling down the valley. So they get you down here uh, to 800 feet. 897, yeah. Or 872, sorry. Yeah. Kelowna Tower, North Cambria, 16 Medivac, uh, holding short of Charlie. North Cambria, 860, Medivac, Kelowna Tower, line up runway 34 at Charlie. Line up runway 34 at Charlie, North Cambria, 16 Medivac. So you Medivac. want at least 1,000 feet. Um, North 8600 Medivac Tower, there's a Duchess IFR four miles off the end, still climbing through 4,500. Uh, would you prefer a uh, partial turn to the right or the, uh, the left, uh, just to avoid? You want at least we'll a uh, partial feet. turn to the right, North Cambria 16 Medivac. See that you got a thousand feet in order to do this. Stay with me for now, the wind 330 at 19 and from Charlie. And if you don't, while three, you're descending, so they're you just land. Yeah, exactly. And I would want and, higher than a thousand uh, we'll feet over the ceiling. Stay with you, Clifford, take over and with three, four, and right up there. Oh yeah, nice. I don't know what that is. Yeah, you just got to remember you can't fly over a populated area lower than a thousand feet right. AGL. I guess you're probably accustomed to such beautiful scenery, but I find it pretty awe-inspiring. Yeah, I have. There's moments. Yeah. Tower Summit 1542 on Delta. I do see a lot of this floor, though now. And we will on the west coast. coast. Summit 1542, Kamula Terk, good day from Delta. Line up from way 34 and wait back truck approved. Still waiting on center drive our release. Okay, we checked that uh, from Delta. We'll backtrack line up 34 and hold there for Summit 1542. Look at there's more houses being built here, further and further from Kelowna. Look at this place right off the wing. Oh, you know. oh the red roof? No, it's below that, but it had tennis courts, swim pool. Oh, right on the water. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple nice spots. This are you going to call the turn for North Cape 816 Medivac, or can we make a turn now? We're good for it. This is called the West Side Road. Medivac, tower, it's, uh, it goes back to Burden. 334,000, Center 133. That Duchess is now your it's 11 block, so six miles, and looks like they're heading further Post off drive, to the, yeah. uh, the west, so you can keep the wrong way for now. And it's a uh, great uh, motorcycle ride. Right center. Good flight, Mitchell. Oh. Yeah, don't worry, motorcycle. thank you for the help, and uh, through 4,000 over to the center, and we'll keep runway heading. North Cape 816 Medivac, good day. Thanks, good day. When I take off the boost pump here, I've got 16.9, 16 16.8, now I'm taking it off. 0.3. About it.
Yeah, and you remember how to inhibit terrain if you're if it's. I think that was enter and then. Well, I guess it. Uh, is. Well, if that window comes up, and it's and it's saying terrain, terrain, you hit enter. Oh, yeah. yeah and it and brings then, you to the page. Okay. But how do you get to that page? This terrain page is just the bottom. See the Taws B, and you have inhibit there. Oh, okay. You can get there that way yeah. too. So you went to map. Well, it's just the the first folder, and then you go down to the toss. Toss. Okay. Yeah.